What is going on everybody? It is Mark here. Welcome to our first episode of our Pokemon Shield playthrough. I don't want to go ahead and read all this. It's just stand so it's not really that important. I do want to take this time though to go ahead and say that I am not very familiar with <laughs> with this generation of Pokemon or any of the recent generations. I played the games growing up as a kid probably stopped at all around Gen 4 for a little bit of and then you know um, I went back and played a little bit of Gen 5 and played through like half of Sun and Moon. I was really confused when I did that. I imagine I'll be confused playing through this one. But I'm excited. I've heard good things about it. I've heard mixed things about it, but most of them have been good for the most part. Um, but, full disclosure, if I am butchering anything, sorry, I have that. It's kind of a blind playthrough for me too, which is what I wanted. I wanted a blind experience so when nothing was really ruined. And that way I could just get the full value of exploration that I can through this. So that being said, let's hopefully... Let's hope that this uh, doesn't take me. Because I, I want to go. I want to play like, right now. And and I didn't name my guy Gary Oak because he's the greatest. And if you uh, disagree, then uh, we might have some problems. Well, it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Who the heck is hot? I'm assuming that's going to be my rival. I don't, I know a lot of people, whenever they do these playthroughs, they read through all the dialogue. That's going to take forever, maybe if it gets a little bit more important. Or if I don't know what the hell I'm doing, then maybe I will, but. Uh, I mean, every adventure is pretty much the same, right? Oh, I can run right away. Or, no, I just walk really fast to the house. I'll go get my bag, good mom. I look like I'm about to go dig up some bold artifacts and modes with that backpack. I do apologize too, like my sinuses are the worst right now. I cannot freaking breathe. Oh, does it give you a map to tell you where you need to go? That's kind of cool. It's a little bit of a handicap. I do wish that, uh... They would do, like, once you beat the game, or give it the option to, uh... Make it a little bit more challenging. Probably be tough for me, because I don't know... I don't know shit about shit anymore. We might get it, uh... <laughs> You might get that fence open eventually. He just made fun of my big old bag. <laughs> What's this guy doing here? I 
it does look pretty good. Where am I supposed to go again? I don't know. Do I just follow this road? This guy's a savage. at your house all day. I do want to, however, uh, pick a starter because I know who I'm going with. And I just want to go, I want to go get it, like right meow. Alright, buddy. There's a lot of people down there in the background. Not to go in the grass because apparently I can't handle myself. I wonder how cinematic this game is going to end up being. how his... Why his hair is so purple? I'm gonna assume that he's like... <clears throat> the very last champion we're gonna fight. I mean, it just says he's a champion. But... I don't know if there's an Elite Four or if there's a new system. Because it did bring back the eight gems. So I can only assume, but I don't know. I don't want to assume anything and then be wrong. I feel stupid. I already feel that way. Just because this guy's like doing the disco. He's got the disco disco going on. Gives us our little starters. <laughs> they all look so good. Um, The Spore Bunny and Sobble's uh, final evolution is like retarded.
I do want that girl key. He's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be my boy. Now, I don't know if I should nickname him or not, because I don't know the other names for basically anybody at this point. Um, Dude, because he's a little monkey. But what do I do? Um, we won't nickname this guy. We'll try and nickname the other members of our team. We're gonna go with. Oh, we're gonna go with the uh, the channel. That does look pretty good, though. I can eat. I hope this opening cutscene isn't as long as uh, or opening intro to the game is not as long as others. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Hop's kind of a nerd. He's a nerd of the group. Gary is, uh... I just need some cheerleaders and I'm set. It does look like a newer model Mudkip though. Like the design looks really cool. And normally, like if this was Emerald, I would have chosen a Mudkip. But um, I've seen the evolution lines and this doesn't look, <laughs> this looks weird. 
He looks like a little giant stick lizard. Lizard stick. Probably what uh, his name should be. But other than knowing the like the lines, I know nothing about any other any other mons really, other than a few. I, I know I said I'm going in blind, but I've seen a couple leaks, but not a whole lot. And even seeing leaks, I'm still confused. Just like I said, I don't know what's going on. All right, let's go get us a Pokedex. We gotta go to the Pokemon Research Lab. Go to the Vesta, uh, get a Pokedex. Tell our moms we're headed out. Oh. Well, something's been broke. It's probably that fence. Called it. Alright, let's go. Come on, we gotta go save that little sheep. A little wooloo. Can't be out on his own. Get out of here. I got this. I like how those little exclamation points stop you. The roofity. I don't know if that's how you say that. They told us not to come up this path though, and that's what we're going to So far. That looks like the Pidgey of this, uh, of this gym. They usually have a... A bird, or a flying type... Uh, Pokemon. In the starting areas. Can't see anything. Where's this little... Oh, you Should we be battling everything? One thing I do love though, every time I put in a- Okay, this game has- uh, It tells you if it's effective or not. Um, one thing I do like though about the Switch, as compared to my PlayStation, every time I get a game for the PlayStation, it has to update or download or something. But with the Switch, I don't, and it's so nice. It's a little SD card. I wish, uh, <laughs> maybe other companies would, uh, get up with that. Just pop it in and play. It's ready to go. 
Let's get a little eerie here. That guy obviously did not crap his pants like we did. Because he just took out for another rod this much. Okay, so there's a legendary just like right there. That doesn't happen. That was a little unfair. Alright. Don't even care. Uh, that's cool. He looks freaking awesome. Hey, the champion came to save us. Holy. Thank you. Leon, sorry. Already messing it up. Leon and his Charizard come to the rescue. And they found! They found him! They found Wooly for us. tell my mom that I am out of here after getting knocked out by a I don't even know what that legendary Pokemon's name is called but uh it, uh, it whooped us wiped the fourth us but we're gonna leave knowing that I just passed out in the forest um, yeah I'll be fine won't happen again pocket money How much money did you just lend us because, uh... Um, my mom don't do that. Oh, we got five Pokeballs now. Okay, so I have $31,000. I don't know what the ratio of, uh, of that is to real money. I should go back in that forest and try and catch some stuff, but maybe we'll see what's down here. Route 1.
That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, yeah, that's cool and all. You don't tell me how to live my adventure. Oh, crap. I just ran right into this little, little swabbit. Little bug bunny. Cheap looking guy. Um, obviously, we have to catch everything that we don't have. Not necessarily use it. But at least just have it in the deck. I do want that Pidgey looking. Uh, Owl looking bird. I can't remember what the name of it. I'm a, I'm a horrible trainer. Why are they choosing to do this? I'm gonna grow with this character because I'm just as big as a need. Yeah, we'll spoil it. Oh, you get XP for catching too, that's awesome. That's good. It's just like uh, Eevee and uh, Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, I guess. I'll name them bugs. Uh -oh. I did hear too that you could. I want this. I did hear too that you could. Uh, Change your party on the go. Uh, just like let's go Pikachu and Eevee. So I think they took like the good uh, from that game and kind of added it into this one. I'm kind of, you know, I don't want to nickname anything just because I don't know him. If there's, if I catch any thing that's older Jim, I will. But just because this is all new to me, I won't. Ah, oh, sweet. Grokey leveled up. Learn pot. And we added in the boy. He looks pretty cool though. I wonder if there's a catching multiplier like let's go even Pikachu. There's a lot of these little birds lying around. See uh, what typing these uh, normal for flying. Okay, I thought I didn't know if they were dual typing or not. We're just poking this guy with a branch that cannot really feel that good. Just flexing my stick on him. Charizard ever move? Those guys in the way. You don't uh, own the Pokemon Center door, Bub. Um, I was born in June. Okay, I was also born on the 7th.
road. Now get out of the way. Is there a back entrance? Oh, maybe, maybe this lab, not the Pokemon Center, the Pokemon Research Lab, which makes more sense. And Charizard just sneaks up behind me. Alright, let's go into the lab. Grab us, right, have we got, this is where we get our Pokedex. dog with a scarf. Looks like a scarf. Who's that? Is that the professor? Sonia. I guess Sonia. Sonia, 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 so Sonia. Uh, uh, uh. We're just gonna go with a uh, uh, girl. No, just kidding. Sonia. I can't just have like some easy, uh, some easy things to pronounce. I guess they're running out of names with uh, like multiple generations um, of Pokemon games, so it is what it is. Say you bet, and it's a lie. I got the Pokedex. Um, I'll let Grand know. We gotta go down to the house on Route 2 to let him know that we got our Pokedex. So that is our that's our goal right here. So let's go ahead. And... I don't want to stop. And then I get stopped. I'm trying to take off this bracelet on my wrist that I can't stuck on there. Pretty good. Um, who got the poker? I stopped talking to Karen's giving them useless stuff. I obtained a potion. That's all you got for me. Alright, we'll take we'll be we'll be grateful for that. Knowledge is power. Thank you, buddy, for that speech. Very moving. Oh, what's back here? An item, maybe? Or, oh, yep. Cool. Rare can wow, rare candy. That's cool. Exploring is worth it sometimes, little kiddos. And, uh... Alright, can we just get out of my way? Yes, I got my Pokedex. Yep, the Pokemon Center is the easiest spot. No, it's not. Okay, I just said I've been inside on the floor, and I'm still getting a tutorial. Let me skip all this junk.
That's cool. Let's buy some more Pokeballs. Oh man, I can't buy any Pokeballs. Feels bad, bro. It's over here. Remember to move, move right in the game. Okay, I can. Hey, I can do all that here. I always gotta talk to people in the Pokemon Center though, because a lot of times trades and free stuff is given out in there. This town's kind of big. Dude, I can get new clothes. Oh no, I don't want to buy that. Casual RK90. I don't want any of the striped ones or the loose. That's 30. That's all my money for just that RK9 t shirt. I don't want to buy a jacket without a... Where is all the uh... I guess we'll just buy some gray socks. Do I have to wear loafers? Ooh. Am I gonna unlock new hats and stuff? glasses in real life. Do they have fingerless gloves? No, they don't. No, we'll get, uh, Look at this coming on with the black hoodie. I guess we'll buy some skinnies because uh, that's all they got. Some white loafers to match. I have such a girl right now, dude. My shirt's red, right? A little shuffle shirt. Oh, that's what all we can do. We just spent like half of our money on clothes. But at least now we don't... You know, hopefully we look a little different from everybody else. Yes. I'd like to. Let's uh, fight these gyms. Where they at, boy? Yes, um, you look like professor because you suck. Um, apparently, and aren't ready to take on gyms. Um, I'm assuming at the end of Route 2 is the first town. Okay, here we are, Route 2. 
Oh my goodness, you want to battle? I feel like a battle's about to happen. Oh my gosh. We were gonna battle, and then this guy wants to teach us how to catch Pokemon even though I've already caught some. Oh, it just gave us 20, and I was trying to buy some at that last uh, Poke Center slash Pokemon. That's cool. Yeah, so it'll keep growing from training and catching. We got it. Uh, if you teach me how to catch something, though, I'll be upset. Okay, so that guy just dipped out on the battle. What is this little fox? Make it. That looks kind of cool. It looks like the fox saw Fox and the Hound. And it also kind of looks like a off brand Vulpix. Which I feel like. <laughs> I'll probably say that a lot. Because I have nothing else to compare to. How do you want to see it, please? It's red, so I'll just kind of associate it with fire, but it might be normal. Hey. That's a dark type. Is there anything else that's new over here? What's that? Oh boy! Zigzagon, what are you doing? You're about to get snatched up. Because you look sick in this generation. Alright, don't ever look at me, buddy. Catch this baddie. We're gonna have a full team of Pokemon I really don't want. Um, but, uh, you know, at least uh, if someone faints, we'll have backup. They'll so be catching a lot, they shouldn't be too underwhelming. What type is this uh, Zixigu now? Dark normal? Instead of just normal, now he's dark normal. He's he's uh that's the Zigs right there. He's a baller. Whoa! What is that? That's big point. Go uh. D. He wants to. He wants to catch the. Catch his hands. Or I guess the stick. Did I even scratch with the stick? Growth, he's got some loopholes. Just snipe me from that far away? Oh no. I was gonna say, dude. I play a little bit too much Call of Duty sometimes. 
This is gonna look cool. I might keep Rook, uh, Rook in here for a while. Um, I'll probably get rid of the other four. And I might get rid of the bird too, just to see what we got coming up. It's common in Panthers to battle when our eyes meet. Boy, you don't even know. You don't even know. I will poke you to death. Grand folks. Yeah, everyone's leveling up, but that's just a cool feeling. That dude almost got me. That's an item up here. Can you read the signs? It gives me tips. I'm just glad we didn't have to do a catch tutorial. That's what I'm happy about. And I don't know if there is like... I know an Ultra Sun and Moon, like you could... There's some super rare Pokemon. But if you just hunted in the grass for a really long time, you run across. Um, I don't know if that's the same here. I'm assuming I've caught all the types here, because I've caught like 6 or 7. 5. That thing would sound awesome. But the turtle is probably gonna die with grass move. So we cut. There's kinda like that one. Tell me where tell me where to get it. What is that? There. Wow. Did I not call it or what? I just said I wanted one of these things and it just pops up out of nowhere. This is a water type. Just straight off the bat. It looks pretty cool too. into the party right after we catch it. Maybe. Yep, water type, yep. Oh. Oh, yes, we can look at that. That's cool. We can send it to the box, with summary, add it to the party. Let's add it to the party. Swap it with this little squirrel. That is awesome. Oh crap. This little like analog stick just does what it wants to. Sometimes you have to use the D-pad to move around on the menus. What is that? Like a Pokemon school, or what's going on? I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. Well, buddy, I beat Hop. And let me tell you, he's terrible. What is that? I think it looks terrifying. Blip bug? Yep, the bug types is effective on me. Which is gonna suck for me because I got bug, flying, fire, and oh, uh, something else that's super effective on me. 
And uh, I'm just like vulnerable to a lot of different items with a, a grass top, but. It is what it is. Alright, let's try something else out. I kinda wanna take. Uh, I wanna think. I kinda want more of a talent. So I should probably take that off. But maybe. If this goes well. And I enjoy the game, I might come back and do a Nuzlocke run. Or do a Nuzlocke run on Let's Go Easy, that would be fun too. Maybe both. I want to play through this first, and I know I have Call of Duty to play through, but if anything goes well, I've always wanted to do one. Um, maybe that could be something we could uh, try. I'd like to do a randomized one, though. That would be really fun. Alright, we got this guy. Dynamax phenomenon yet? Um, what is the Dynamax phenomenon? Guess uh, I'm about to find out sometime soon. Maybe I don't, or not until the end. Of, I don't know. Just tell me what it is. Magnolia. All right. What do you got? What do you got for us? Gary Oak. Thanks for, uh, thanks for telling about me, actually. I'm that popular, guys. Uh, she's been doing research on the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. Thanks to proper understanding, thank you. What is Dynamax? Is that where the Pokemon just go huge? Because it sounds like it. Smith for the gym challenge. Look how big of a nerd Hop is. And also, what kind of name is Hop? My guy's just chill and he's just over there fist pumping. Or I don't exactly know what that is, but he's doing it. Whatever we're about to do, though, is going to wait till next time because we're almost to an hour. Didn't realize that time's been flying. And, uh, two, I'm hungry, so, uh, we'll have to continue this here shortly. But if you guys are enjoying or are looking forward to this series, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new. It's greatly appreciated. I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, guys, have a good day and peace out.